Hello. Uh, so the animal that I'm going to talk about um, being overpopulated is a white-tailed deer, uh, which is actually surprising to me. Um, but in the 1930s, the U.S. white-tailed deer population was down to about 300,000. Um, and today, estimates of how many there are range as high as about 30 million, which is crazy to think about. Um, that's a 1,000-fold increase in less than 100 years. Um, the shift in the white-tailed deer population can be attributed to many factors. In the 1920s, the species was actually nearing extinction due to overhunting um, before the government protection programs were put into place to save it. Um, and they definitely succeeded into that. Some factors leading to this uh, population spiraling out of control um, is that there aren't very many predators. Um, wolves, cougars, and grizzlies, which all once preyed on deer, are now extinct in most states, and much of their former habitat is gone. Um, and the increase in human population will not stop the deer. Um, because deforestation actually helps the deer. The white-tailed deer is a species that flourishes in edge habitats, um, which is like edges of forests and roadways um, or newly planted lawns. Uh, this is why they have been so explosively successful in the suburbs, um, which means that the hunting rates are going down. On average, about 6 million deer are killed each year by hunters, though this number is decreasing. And in contrast, the deer population will double every other year under ideal conditions. And the last estimate suggested that 12 million fawns were born after the last hunting season. And this number will keep increasing due to the fact that they are um, they graze on disturbed or edge habitats. Um, and the white-tailed deer population naturally um, fluctuated. Um, and some things that are um, like impacted by the deer population, um, it's not just impacted to us. Um, the deer population, um, they eat 15 million tons of vegetation each year, which, which costs about $248 million in damage to crops and landscaping in the Northeast alone. Um, about 150 people per year are actually killed due to deer um, and car collisions. Uh, furthermore, deer carry deer ticks, which can transmit Lyme disease to humans. Um, and then this can also lead to a cascade of effects on other animal species. Um, nesting bird populations drop due to the loss of certain tree species, um, which the deer like to eat. Um, and insect species, particularly um, caterpillars, may lose their food source. Um, different things like that. And then um, with deer populations going well over carrying capacity in many areas, the risk of population crashes grows. Um, while a crash which dramatically decreases the number of animals sounds like it might be a good thing, um, it could be catastrophic as well. So there are some fun facts about uh, white-tailed deer and their overpopulation.